um, in between coffee time again. I am once again doing the car shuffle. Um, cars ready at the mechanic. So this morning I dropped my husband off there and he will pick up the other car while I am going home. So today I thought I would, talk. my husband actually gave me the idea of this, about this when I was talking about um, the gluten um, free stuff. And he said, talk about the bread. <laughs> and what he means when he says talk about the bread is talk about what happens when you go out to eat. And he was referring to the bread that they often bring out at certain places with your gluten free meal. Okay. And I mean, actually gluten containing bread, not gluten free bread. I'm talking at a regular restaurant. Um, and I, I just want to share if you're, you don't have to eat gluten free and you don't have celiac or another type of condition that forces you to eat gluten free, you probably don't really understand this. And you probably think, oh, it's easy enough to just go to a restaurant and um, only order certain things or order off of their gluten free menu, that type of thing. And um, unfortunately, it is not that easy. So basically, I have found that a lot of places, they, they really don't seem to understand the whole gluten-free thing. They'll think that, okay, well, if it's just a, you know, a piece of chicken and some vegetables, it's fine. But you always have to consider, well, what did they cook it in? What did it come in, into contact with? Um, all of these questions that you have when you go out to eat as someone that has to eat gluten-free. Like I said, not that simple. Now for me, I just, I very, very rarely go out anymore. I'll, I'll only go to certain places where I'm relatively sure that I'm going to get something that's not quote unquote contaminated with gluten. Um, and one of the other reasons that I don't go out a lot is not even totally the gluten, but that I don't eat a lot of other things. I very rarely eat other things that contain um, even gluten-free grains. Uh, you know, around around Christmas, I had a little bit of rice. I had some cookies, some gluten-free cookies that are, of course, made with other um, grains that are gluten-free. So there's that. But in general, I'm not eating that way. And I also don't like a lot of the stuff that they cook their foods in. Like if I'm at home, I'm going to cook my food if it requires an oil or something like that. I'm going to use like you know, good extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna use butter. I'm gonna use stuff like that. Maybe occasionally there'll be coconut oil in something, but I rarely even do that. But what I'm saying is I, I don't like a lot of the stuff that they tend to use when you go out to eat in general. So that's just another layer for me. But for someone that, you know, eats the gluten-free breads or the gluten-free pastas, um, yeah, there are places where you can get that stuff. But still, like I said, the, the restaurant staff doesn't always understand it, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong. There are places you can go where they fully get it. There are also full gluten-free restaurants. I remember back years ago, um, the first, my first four year go around with gluten free, and that was prior to a celiac diagnosis. Okay. Um, we went as a family to a restaurant in New York city that was completely gluten free. And, um, it was just the, the greatest thing to go in there and be able to order absolutely anything. Know that there was no way that anything was contaminated with gluten. The bread was gluten free. The pasta was gluten free. Everything was gluten free. So that's an amazing experience when you have to eat this way. But otherwise, if they're cooking other food, you have to always take into consideration that there could be gluten in your food. One thing that you'll notice if you ever look closely at a gluten free menu is a lot of places will have little, a little tiny blurb at the bottom that says, gluten sensitive, or they might label the menu as gluten sensitive to indicate that, yeah, like the things that, that the products that you're being served from off that menu, they are gluten containing items, but they're basically saying that they can't guarantee that, that, that it's hundred percent gluten free. They can't guarantee that that food never came into contact with gluten containing products. And by that, I mean like, okay, you got a salad off the gluten-free menu. Salads, this is a big one, right? I never order salads if I go out because did they cut the vegetables on cutting boards that were used to cut breads or 
other gluten containing things? Are they making the salad out of like a salad bar type area where the lettuce is next to the croutons and the croutons are always dropping into the lettuce? Did they accidentally make that salad not, not thinking, okay, you, you, they knew that you had celiac or whatever, but they weren't thinking threw the croutons on there and then picked them off. Okay. That was what my husband went, meant by tell him about the bread because I can't tell you how many times I've ordered off a gluten-free menu and the um, server will say, oh, did you want the bread with that? And I'm like, uh, no. I, you know, I, I try to be nice because I know that people don't understand, but when stuff like that happens, like I get so irritated because I'm like, I just told you I was gluten-free or I have celiac disease and you're asking me if I want the side of bread with my salad or my meal or whatever. You know, like I said, I don't really do the salads for obvious reasons, but so this is my point is it is hard. Okay, grill, the grill. This is another one. Um, you're getting your eggs made and you're thinking, okay, well, you know, they're just making my eggs. They're fried eggs. They're not scrambled. So I really shouldn't have to worry about there being anything added in there because by the way, the new thing now is apparently that they're putting pancake batter into scrambled eggs to either thicken them up or to give them like a nicer taste. I don't know, but that's a nightmare for people that have to eat this way. But the grill, okay, what else do they do on that grill? So they cook their burgers on that grill. They do all this stuff. Okay, that's fine that they cook their burgers. What about the buns that they warm up or toast on that grill that were just toasted on there right before they cracked your eggs over top of it? So these are the things that are always running through your mind as someone that has to eat this way. And especially for the people that are really, really sensitive, like I've had at least one person comment about how crazy sensitive they are. And if they get gluten at a restaurant, they are like vomiting, like very, very sick. People end up in the hospital, all of this stuff. So it is not, it is not a joke. You know, for me, I had a couple weird reactions years ago that I wasn't 100% sure were connected to the gluten. Like I came home after eating out and I had like almost like a vertigo type experience that happened at least once. Um, and I thought, oh my God, I don't know if the bun and the fries and everything, fries, let me talk about that next. I, I was like, did they give me the regular gluten containing bun, like all these thoughts are going through my mind, but there are people that get violently ill, like emergency room ill, need to go get IV fluids to replenish everything that they're, excuse me, puking out and crapping out. Like it, it, it's serious. It's not a joke. It's not, oh, you're on a gluten-free diet to, eat, to lose weight and it's so trendy and cool. And, and you ask these people and they don't even know what gluten is. Like I said, I'm trying not to be mean, but to someone that has to eat this way for medical reasons, it's, it's, it's irritating. So my hopes in releasing content like this, if there's people that are listening to it that, that don't have to be gluten free, I want you to understand that like, it's not that simple. And if you go out with someone that has celiac or has to eat this way, like, please don't get irritated when they are asking a million questions. If you're a server, please don't get irritated if they're asking a million questions, you know? Like, and another thing to go off on a tangent here because I knew somebody that was a server and he had made a comment about, oh yes, yeah, someone that says I'm allergic to tomatoes and then proceeds to put ketchup on their burger. Um, okay, that's all well and good. Do you know that you can be allergic to the raw fruit or vegetable, but eat the cooked one? Okay, that that's, that's big. Um, my daughter has that with certain things. Okay, we learned yesterday now that uh, she can't eat an apple with a peel on it, but if I peel her one at home, she can eat it without a problem. Okay, she can eat almonds that are cooked and roasted, but she can't eat them raw. So don't just assume that someone's making something up just because you see something that seems off to you, okay? Sometimes you cannot have the raw tomato, but you can have the, the ketchup. 
So that's a little tangent there. But I said that I would talk about the fries. Another thing you might hear people that have celiac or, or gluten sensitivity ask at a restaurant, do you cook your fries in the same fryer that you use to um, fry your gluten containing products? Or they'll ask, do you have a dedicated gluten free fryer? Okay. Let's say that they're using French fries that have absolutely no gluten in them whatsoever, but they fry them in the fryer that they use to fry their chicken tenders, their gluten containing chicken tenders. Well, guess what? You're getting gluten. Okay, all that gluten and those crumbs and those little bits that are floating around in that fryer are now adhered to the outside of your French fries. And, and depending on the person, you know, you can think, ah, that can't possibly be enough to make you sick. Oh, well, that depends on the person. And that's not even taking into account that even if someone doesn't feel the outward signs that they've inadvertently consumed gluten, it can still be causing that autoimmune reaction and damage in their intestine. So we, we don't want that. You know, we're trying to live healthy, but still live a semi-normal life to a certain extent. So I know that this was kind of like a rant today and I went off in a bunch of different directions, but it can be really frustrating going through this. You just wanna go out and eat something with your friends and family and not have to have this anxiety and, and situation where you have to pre-plan everything. I can remember calling restaurants ahead of time when I had to go places, okay? I can remember going out and saying, is there wheat in your chicken broth that you cook your rice in? And they looked at me like I was crazy. And unfortunately, that look indicated to me that there might, there might be an issue. Okay, I was at an event once that was catered where supposedly they were going to have no problem. We have gluten-free food. And they said, oh, we, we have gluten-free bread. And I went, oh, wow, I was so excited because it was back when I was eating gluten-free bread. I was so excited and the woman pulls out a loaf of whole wheat bread. She thought that whole wheat meant that it was gluten free, that only the, the white breads contain gluten. So listen, you can't be overly mad at people for not knowing because you don't know what you don't know and you don't know a lot when you're not experiencing it but it just goes to show you that because there's not a lot of knowledge around this, particularly in this country, you can go to Europe and they know exactly what they're doing and it's standard protocol. And I've heard again and again and again that you can go over there as a celiac or someone with gluten sensitivity and not have a problem getting absolutely 100% gluten-free food, but it doesn't work that way here, unfortunately. So just know that it's not an easy task. If you have someone in your life that suffers and they're hesitant to go out to eat or to go to certain places, there's a, there's a reason for that. So I hope that I was able to shed a little bit of light on this. I'm just so passionate and at the same time irritated when I talk about this stuff because it's a pain in the butt having to do this. Listen, it could be a lot worse. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that I can cut out gluten and um, eat a certain way and feel the way that I do, but it's still hard at times. And um, please, please realize that for those in your life that might be going through it. That is all that I have for you today. I am sitting here in traffic trying to get home and um, I will talk to you next time. Bye everyone. Thank you.